So how are you guys? You have already seen the thumbnail and read the video title and already know what is going to happen in this video. And yes, that is correct. Last weekend I was working on creating a python bot which can do trading on my place. But the challenge was to teach him how to do trading and also some of the strategies which he can use to decide when to buy and sell a stock. It took me so much time to build this bot and recording all the live sessions was challenging. So please make sure you like and share this video. I'll share the link of the code in the description box below. You can copy it and can build your own logic on top of it. I will explain the logic and strategy used by the bot at the end of the video and why I selected a stock which is in the live session. So make sure to watch the video till the end. So let's start. So just to give you an overview, in this live trading session, I will use TradingView to execute all my orders. It provides you the tools and features necessary to spot the trend and place trades directly onto the chart. It has multiple indicators which is useful in building different strategies and more importantly you can backtest any strategy. This is not a backtest video. This video is running live on the live market. You can check so from date at the above and also the live timer which comes with the chart. On the left hand we have our python bot running and making all the decisions and hitting the points for buying and selling. So just sit back and relax. At the end, there was one open trade because of network failure, but that is the thing. You can pick the code from GitHub and add this feature for yourself. Finally, we reached our profit which is mentioned on the thumbnail. TradingView provides all the data in US dollars and I just roughly converted the value in Indian rupees. So now let's discuss what was the strategy my code was using and what are the indicators it used to make a decision. I got the TradingView API from a website, link will be in the description. 
it has got the proper documentation on how to use it and also gives a sample code to start with the logic built for the bot is based on indicators and the time frame used in the chart i have used a 5 minutes chart frame for this strategy as i believe intraday trading is better to be done on a lesser time frame chart the basic indicators used are rsi relative strength index and ema exponential moving average rsi the chart below provides the data by which we can predict if a particular stock is overbought or oversold and ema the blue line is the exponential moving average of 10 days in this case which basically means it will give you the average price of the stock in the past 10 days so once we are clear with the indicators let's move to the strategy rsi gives the data from 0 to 100 0 being oversold and 100 being overbought in this chart i have zoomed it to show only the required fields so based on my experience in the market i kept two conditions if rsi is greater than equal to 30 it is a good spot to buy a stock as people are getting interested again and another if rsi is greater than equal to 70 sell the stock as there is a probability of selling pressure to come you can see that with these arrows I have combined this RSI strategy with EMA based on EMA indication if the current price of the stock goes above the average value then buy and when the current price is below the EMA then sell now if you are wondering if this strategy can be applied to any stock which is listed my answer is maybe yes or maybe not it totally depends on the stock like in this situation i chose sonata software for trading It is a global IT service company that provides services in business intelligence and analytics, application development management, mobility, cloud, social media and testing. Its quarterly results were going to be announced. It declared cash dividend and I needed a stock which can provide volatility for my video. And there were other factors too like trend line, option chain data and forecast in ticker tape. Also this is not so simple as it looks. it needs multiple hours of studying and practice to perfect the strategy as there are lot of unknown factors and situation which may arise in a live trading session as i started the bot in the morning many things started to go wrong and i had many logic failures the time interval for each check of the live data was set to 5 minutes there was no timer for me to know when it was going to run the next session profit booking logic was horrible and it was placing orders for only one quantity which did not give any sense of adventure all the things were horrible i had to reduce the api calls for one minute added a timer so that i can sync the live session modified the booking logic and increased the quantity by 100 and it started to look good on day 2 things were looking smooth in the start but the logic started to crumble as the market went sideways and logic to complete each and single order did not work I was trying to include the MACD indicator too for decision making but it was making the logic too complex and I had access to a limited set of APIs to work with and it was missing many opportunities that a person doing a live trading will take so I took out MACD and created a logic based on RSI and EMA which we saw at the start of this video I advise you to play with this code and design your own strategy based on your trading pattern and test them on TradingView before putting it to use in the real market. TradingView paper trading account can help you do that. Investing in stock market is a serious business. Please take advice from your financial advisor before investing your hard earned money. I hope you like this video and learned something new. If so, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, be safe and keep learning. Thank you.